Hello there, my name is Fernando and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab and today I'm going to go over some of the newly introduced security and compliance features of GitLab 17 and 17.1. Today I'll cover the enhancements made to our API security scanner as well as those made to our API buzzer. Now let's get started. The API Security Testing Analyzer, which scans your running application's APIs for vulnerabilities, now enables system environment variables to be passed from the CI runner to the custom Python scripts used for advanced scenarios like request signing. It now also runs its containers as a non-root user, which improves flexibility and compliance. It supports for servers that offer TLS v1.3 ciphers, which enables more customers to adopt this process. The Alpine image has also been upgraded to 3.19, addressing several security vulnerabilities. Additionally, new variables have been added to provide greater customization and flexibility to ensure when a scan runs successfully. This includes setting the status codes which determine if a job has passed, disabling the waiting for the target API to become available, as well as specifying the expected status codes for API availability. These same configuration variables are present for the fuzz testing analyzer. Fuzz testing sets operation parameters to unexpected values in an effort to cause unexpected behavior and errors within your API backend. Setting up GitLab API security scanning is very simple. All I need to do is go to the .gitlab CI YAML file and implement the API security and API fuzzing templates. From here, I must make sure that my application actually gets deployed to an environment. This would typically be staging. Then I can perform overrides on the API security and API fuzzing job in order to include the open API spec to scan, along with the scanner profile to use. In this example, I'm dynamically setting the application API endpoint to scan. You can learn about various configurations and settings by visiting the links in the description. Now let's go down to my open API spec. This is a JSON file that includes all the different API paths and their expected results, as well as a description as to what they do. These will be the routes that GitLab API security and API fuzzing will be scanning. These scanners support multiple configurations, including open API, HTTP archive, Postman collections, GraphQL, SOAP, and more. Now let's take a look at our pipeline. Here we can see that we built the application container and push it to the registry, deploy to our staging environment, and then run DAST and API fuzzing. Once the scanner is complete, we can see all the vulnerabilities found in the main or production level branch within the vulnerability report. When clicking on a vulnerability, you'll be taken to its vulnerability page, which provides information such as a detailed description, the severity, the method used to determine the vulnerability, the URL, evidence that it exists, identifiers, as well as the request and response, unmodified and actual, and reproduction assets such as a Postman collection and HTTP methods, making it easy to replicate this vulnerability. From this page, you can also triage the vulnerability and provide a status, letting the security team know where it stands and what action needs to be taken. I can confirm it and then scroll down to the bottom and add a reason why it was confirmed. Scanner results can also be seen between the diff of a feature branch and the main or production level branch within a merge request. When expanding the security scanning tab, we can see that our scanners detected various vulnerabilities. When selecting a vulnerability, 
we are provided with detailed information such as a description, severity, URL, evidence that it occurred, identifiers, the requests and response, and reproduction assets to enable us to triage as well as remediate this vulnerability. Fuzz testing vulnerabilities also provide the same data along with the mutator. From this MR view, the vulnerability can be dismissed with a reason, making for a smoother review process with the security team. From here, an issue can also be created to work on a fix later. This issue is confidential, meaning only certain roles have access. It is populated with all the relevant vulnerability information. From here, you can also create a confidential merge request to work on a fix without alerting possible malicious actors. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about GitLab 17 and 17.1, see the links in the description. And make sure to click that like and subscribe button 